and we're going to be tracking the 10th name storm of the season. That's Julia becoming the, uh, you know, uh, a tropical storm at 11 a.m. And so what we know by the numbers, 40 mile per hour winds still tracking to the west at 18 miles per hour. So moving at a good clip, but it's impacting those areas just north of Venezuela, Aruba getting in on some of that rain. And to let you know, Aruba is a desert island. I don't typically see this rain. So this is tracking to the south, and it's all guided by this high-pressure system. And you can see that as it will continue to guide it towards cent Central America and why we don't really expect this to lift north at all. Now, there is warm water and low wind shear, so that's favorable environment for these tropical systems over the week. And why we forecast this by really Saturday late evening into Sunday morning becoming a hurricane and that will impact once again Central America right now when you're looking at the track of this is looking like it'll make landfall on eastern shores of Nicaragua and then maybe going up towards Honduras. Now this is low lying area area of Nicaragua the eastern side. Once you get towards the northern aspect of that that is where you're going to be seeing that mountainous terrain that is what's going to carve through this system also along with the strong wind shear. Notice this area is favorable, the Western Caribbean. We noticed that with Ian. That's where they had his first phase of rapid intensification. This is tracking south of that. The winds are going to be uh, really uh, too strong for this system to hold together as it pushes on shore. So what we're looking at is that high wind shear as it moves towards the coast of Nicaragua, really ripping through this system. It will still be a strong storm as it makes landfall. Again, looking to be a Cat 1 storm. From there, that is where there's some discrepancy in the models. Will it track to the north, go into Honduras, Guatemala, or will it spill out into the Pacific? Something that we'll be watching for in the days to come. Of course, we're still talking about the impacts of what happened with our latest storm, Hurricane Ian. And for more on that, we'll send it over to Kendall. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.